Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today we're gonna have some fun with a brawler. And by a brawler, I mean a battleship that is designed to take on ships at shorter ranges, and who better for that than the Germans? The Germans have towers which are exceptionally well suited for this, in the form of the modern tower. Because you got a lot of opportunities to put all sorts of secondary guns. While for secondary towers you got the advanced tower with a funnel 4, um, I generally prefer going with this tower just because it has more of a cohesive, well, a coherent feel. Like this is what should be there. I don't care about the range, I do care about the beam, because more beam means I can just put more guns there. We're gonna go with standard quarters and we're gonna, actually no, we're gonna go with maximum quarters. For the simple reason that if I lose too many crew members, the ship will perish. I think diesel engines are my best bet because I have a far lower engine damage chance and I would like to maintain some form of propulsion. We're gonna have electric steering, we're gonna have all sorts of upgrades here. Uh, we're gonna of course make this thing as survivable as possible. Maximum torpedo blister, citadel all or not. No, actually no, let's go for turtleback armor. Turtleback armor. Why? Because I believe you get more armor strength, plus 22 and a half. You do get a bit less for standard resistance, which is another form of reducing the amount of incoming damage. Um, you do not really get the other bonuses though. So engine damage chance, ammo detonation chance, flash fire chance, and flash fire spreading are greater than what you would arguably like. Anyway, um, radar. Yeah. I think radar three is worth it for the simple reason of having faster gun aiming speed. The faster I acquire a target, the better it's going to be. Range finding, coincidence, because we're looking for short range encounters. So that means more gun aiming speed again. Acoustics, I don't really care that much because I'm probably going to be torpedoed anyway. Um, it's a big chunker of a ship. 522 meter turning circle does mean I might be able to steer out of the way. Okay, um, let's go for something that's fairly reasonable for a ship of this size. I think 16 barrel or 16 inch dual barrels. Bow stern, like that. Giving me about 7,000 tons to still put on additional guns and additional firepower. Uh, also barbette armor and of course more, well maybe less speed, maybe more armor. Wow, that went up fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. TNT is going to push it down a bit. Triple base is not really helpful. Uh, good lord, this is not good. We're going to have to reduce the torpedo blister. There you go. From torp 5 to torp 3, giving me less torpedo damage reduction and more torpedo flooding chance, but I now still have some room to put on additional firepower. Uh, standard on both. We're going to go with nose fuse HE, which is somewhere down the middle. And then, short barrel guns. I'm going to keep it... Um, no, that's the diameter, sorry. Here, I'm going to make the main armament long range to make sure that the ship can engage at long range. Although we're starting at 10 kilometers, it's not going to be needed. But let's make believe. Secondary guns, I think six inches in the form of a ton of six inch duels. Uh, maybe not, hold on, maybe not a ton, maybe... Add eights over there. Those things look absolutely tiny. Hold on a minute. Oh, sorry. This needs to be side guns. Nine inch dual. Yeah, that'll... <laughs> That's a cute secondary armament. Uh, no, it's a primary armament. And I believe the game does consider it as such. Okay, so these guns, I'm going to saw them off. Barrel length reduced. What's that going to do for my gun? Well, it's going to make the reload on 9-inch guns a mere 6 seconds. 5.9 seconds. If you put them back to 0, we're going to look at a reload of 7 seconds. Wow, that's not really that much of a difference, is it? 4-second reload on these four in on the 6-inch the guns. Uh, give me minus 20. 3.5 seconds? What the fuck? That's incredible. This is a six inch gun with an almost instant reload. That's amazing. 
Okay, uh, five inch dual barrels. Because that's the biggest caliber that can sit up there. These are also going to be negatives. So minus 20%. And then another minus 20. Um, some guns have poor fields of fire. Do they? Which one? Is it the nine incher that they're complaining about? Could be. Normally, I would probably not put a 9-incher over there. Now I will, because I know that I'm fighting only one ship. If this was a campaign ship, I would probably put an 8-incher over there. Something a bit more able to, well, to sort of individually engage targets, if you will, if that makes sense. That one's nicely tucked in. This one is not... So these things are absolutely horrible at longer ranges, but at shorter ranges, they might completely shred the enemy. Um, give me the maximum, yeah, maximum cap shell. Because that means at a 10 kilometer range, they can pen 15 inches of armor. 16 and a half now. Two powder, I believe, gives you more pen. Yeah, 17.8. Holy shit. Three and a half, four. Eighteen point six. Just that Dunite has a bit larger self-designation chance. So that could be a problem. Okay, so that is a nice secondary armament, but we're not done. Because I imagine we can still put three inchers in various different locations. Up there. Oh, sorry, that's a four-incher, is it not? Yeah, it's a four-incher. Okay. Get these to be smaller. Oh, shit, that's the barbette armor. Um, here. Minus 20. Three-inchers. Don't have rooms for those. Two-inchers. Don't have room for those either. It's not an American ship. Germans don't really have that many room or that many uh, locations to put these on. It'd be a waste to not use this particular spot. This is going to get into the way of the 9-incher. Could I have another 9 on the stern? No, it's going to interfere too much with the main Galliver guns. The main 16s. And beside, I have a perfectly balanced ship. I like that. I do need a bigger funnel though. This is the Uber Funnel 6. Can I run with the 8? 80% 80 engine efficiency. It's not stellar, but it'll have to do. Show me the barbettes. Oh, sorry, show me the... Um, yeah, it's okay. My citadel is a bit larger than I would like. So let's pull this thing in. And let's pull this thing in. It's going to make the um, whole citadel a bit shorter. And now I can uh, just pour a whole bunch into armor. So... Main belt, very important for this ship. Because if my machinery starts getting penned, if I start getting flooded, I'm going to be in trouble. So we're going to go with 22 inch plus 144%. That is nuts. Superstructure, five, no, that's a bit much. Three inch, two, two inch. It's a heavily armored superstructure. 25 inch conning tower. I really can't afford to lose my ability to hit the enemy. Okay, make it 24. Four deck. Let's say four deck, five, aft deck, five. No, five flat, not five, six. Hello? Game? Sometimes the game is really unstable. And I hate that about Dreadnoughts. Here, I cannot even type. Game? What are you doing, game? Five. Whoop, what? It just took a whole inch off. There. Okay. I have a bit left. Main deck, I think, is not as important. What the fuck? Okay, usually it works if you just take a turret, plunk it back down. 90? No, idiot. 10. There. 
Okay. And torpedo blister is probably way too heavy. Yeah, way, way, way too heavy. When my... Well, I'm considering putting torpedo tubes on my own ship, but it's probably not going to happen. For the simple reason that torpedo tubes can get blown up. And if they get blown up, you're going to have a serious ammo explosion on your ship. Which is something I'm not particularly interested in. I don't really need any further explosions on this ship. Give me a 9-inch main deck. There we go. After weight offset, bit high. Let's push this turret farther forward. Huh? Oh, crap. I'm increasing the size of my citadel. That's the problem here. Reduce on the aft belt, increase on the forward belt. Not too heavy. I don't care. Point one is fine. Let's take this big, big dude out into combat and see just how much these secondary guns can do. Okay, big brawly boy. Let's see what you can do. Let's see just how fast these guns are willing to fire. The 9-inch guns, I think... Wow. I was going to say have a pretty poor accuracy, but they don't. 33%? It's really high. Turning speed. 6 degrees per second. Holy shit. That's fast. Range on these... 10 or 9.4 for the HE. Okay, understood. Let's try and close the distance. Let's see what we're up against today. That was a good 16 inch main deck hit. British ship today, armed with a couple of 16 inch guns. Tw 21 times 3 1.2 inch guns? Are you afraid of aircraft? Which aren't in the game. And then another 12 by 3 4.3 inch guns. Their secondary armament is very heavily geared towards destroyer fire. Or destroyer threats. The amount of damage that this thing is doing is laughable. I'm seeing 0, 0.00 points of damage. Fight me. Boom. Overpen. The thing is, this British ship is not nearly as heavy as my 140,000 ton battleship. Please fire on the main guns. I want to see how much these secondaries can do. Good lord, this thing is so heavily armored that it just doesn't care. 178 shells were blocked. Yeah, it's all this small puny guns. 16-inch hit the four deck, 10, 37 damage. Ha! Ah, I can do this all day, dude. Oh, crap. The 9-inch are considered a primary gun, of course. Oh. So I'm just using the 6, the 5, and the 4s. Okay. Hmm. How much damage are these doing? 322, 304, and these are not shooting yet because they have a range 8. Which is what we're approaching pretty soon. But this guy is already taking quite a bit of damage. Look at him go. Short secondary gun, short main tower. Structural integrity on the Kaiser, 96. That's cute. And I'm fully broadside to this battleship. 
I believe that my secondary guns will, in due time, take this thing down. Yeah, this is really not a fair fight. Because this battleship's 318,000. Um, 318 million, I should say. Mine is over a billion. And I believe... Yeah, standard crew quarter, or standard bulkheads. It's very heavily armored, I'll give it that. But it has no superstructure armor, which in this case, against a brawler, is a death sentence. Because I will consistently burn your towers down. The main tower has already been destroyed. They've lost 24% of their crew near enough. Keep in mind, this is all this damage. Most of it is just five and six inch guns. Okay, let's pitch in with the mains. I think we're gonna have to take on something a bit bigger. Both in sense of numbers and in sense of, well, ideally ship size. Because Bellerophon is not really gonna put up the fight that I'm looking for. Just. <laughs> Good lord. This thing is really taking a kicking. And 16 inch guns are no joke, but against this ship, they have 7% chance to pen. <laughs> With a 16 inch gun, right? Same type of caliber that the Iowa used to have. So the Germans are going, yeah, that's cute, but we got armor for days. So we're gonna need something a bit bigger. Leave the battle. We're going to go with a battleship, two heavy cruisers, two lights, and four destroyers. I don't want a battle cruiser because they'll just usually run away, which is annoying. So, same ship, different day. Let's go. The new contenders have arrived. Let's see how quickly the Kaiser Kraal can make short work of them. I'm only going to manage the ship so far as I'll turn her around if I feel the need to. But the secondaries are all her. Uh, the first victim here is a light cruiser. Light cruiser? It's a big light cruiser. The weird... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This time around we are facing torpedoes. A big cruiser with a weird loadout. Also, massive pitching up and down. Smooth waves. Somebody didn't inform this ship about that. Look at this thing. <laughs> this one too. <laughs> Kaiser, how are you? You don't do that shit around here. No, I get that. I get that. So, uh, what have we done so far? With the 16-inch guns, we've done a good amount of damage, but the 5s and the 4s are not to be underestimated. And so far, we have taken 100-plus hits. Essentially undamaged. Cool. Carry on. I still love rolling ships. It's generally my preferred way of playing the game. It's just that... Especially in the campaign, it's hard to make that work. Ow, 24 points. Wait, what you did what? I saw something like 10,000 damage. Here. 16 inch, 4 belt pen. That must have been HE. That must have been HE. So that's one light cruiser down. Let's see who would like to go next. You? You're the other light cruiser. We are firing a mix of armor piercing and high explosive. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you in trouble? Anyway, if it was up to me and I can do a German campaign, let's say after 1.06 goes stable, then if the campaign runs long enough and I get the tech, I will definitely build a brawler like this. Just a massacre fleets, well, essentially solo. Because that's what this thing can do. Hold on, we're a brawler. We're going to push in, not out. Turning circle. Uh, exists. Dud. Nice. Good lord. What are you doing to these poor ships? This was a destroyer. Two minutes ago. You're full health, yes? Heavy cruiser. Let's see how long that's going to remain true. The ship hasn't been properly identified yet, so for the moment we're firing HE at it, considering we don't know what type of... Shell type's going to work best. Why is the 9-inch not shooting? Weird. 9-inch. Shoot. There you go. Uh-oh. 
or torpedoes in the water, but these things just launch a few. What the fuck did that torpedo just do? Okay, that corrected course. There's no such thing as tracking on torpedoes, so they just veered off course. Here, Nelson. That's a heavily armed, armored cruiser. Wow, 8.6 and 4.4. Nice ship, dude. Maybe something happened to it. Ooh, like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boink. 21 damage. Oh, no. Anyway. Yeah, ships these size generally don't care that much. You do. 10,000 damage. Was that HE? Must have been. Ammo detonation. We're kind of getting skewed numbers here because we're getting detonations from... Well, not just detonations, also high explosive murders with the 16 inches. Uh, but I'm not at all disappointed about the capabilities of these smaller guns. The 9 inch guns, though, are very lackluster. I'll probably replace these with 8s. Because it seems that they have a very hard time actually picking a target to shoot and then shooting it. But the Nelson over here? This thing got melted down pretty quick. Very, very quickly. Hold on, you got some interesting model for your smaller guns there. Yeah. Might be a new model there. That. I can barely see it through all the smoke and rubble, but I believe it's a new model that they're working on. Nelson. Come on. 16 inches, one more shot, perhaps? No? Can you pen that? Oh, you don't need to go out. Okay, fine. The battleship, the Prince of Wales. 15.4 inch guns. See, this thing actually has some more respectable secondaries in the form of 8.4. Correct that. One 8.4 dual barrel. Really high up as well. Um, pitch and roll are actually very good. 15.5, 8.1. Less beam, more draft. Cramped quarters. Green crew. Can you pen this? I don't think you can. No, you can't. You can't! And in the meanwhile, all your friends are dead. Oh. This is why I always pick the long range barrels. Or, well, the long barrels. It's just so good. Dud. Nice. Oh, boy. That must have been another 6-inch impact. No, 16. Yeah, a couple of 16s. If you compare the performance of these 16-inch long barrels against the rest of the secondaries, it's just not a fair comparison. Of course, the bigger guns are going to do more damage. It's just that they always hit. They always hit. Just like with yesterday's video, where I showed you the DD from Hell. Which had 5.9 inch guns on a 1900 destroyer. And of course that was going to murder everything. 255 million, that's... It's less than a quarter. Prince of Wales should have a better chance to pen. Yeah, there we go. Come on, fight me. I'll even turn the main guns offline, alright? Give you a bit more of a fighting chance. Let's see if we can eliminate some crew. 10-2, 10-3. Ships are definitely going at it. Reload on these guns is still phenomenal. 5.6. Five, one, three and a half. And at this range, you can really make that work. At the longer ranges, you just tend to miss. But at these short ranges, you can just do a lot of damage. Now, in this case, I think I have the wrong HE type, though. Let's do this one more time. Because if I do it with HE incendiary, I can probably burn shit down. Right now, I'm using nose fuse, which is... I think for this ship, actually the worst type, in hindsight. For the simple reason that it doesn't have enough to really damage a ship. 
because these smaller guns, 1.4, 1, it's just not enough. Uh, with incendiary, they're not any chance, essentially, to pen, unless you use AP, but HE, uh, but they do set a lot of fires, which is nice. Sadly, Picker Gasset's out of the picture. Um, high Explosive Fire Chance, yes. Even more, Picker Gasset 3. This is plus 25, plus 15. Yeah, we're going to go with Picker Gasset 3. Makes the ship a little too heavy. Mm. There. Let's go. Okay, new round. Potentially, the Kaiser is now even more dangerous. Because now she's able to burn shit down. I'm gonna give her secondaries high explosive. To see what effect that's going to have. And based on the reception that this light... No, this destroyer is having. What is up with these ships? Seriously, these are smooth waves. But this thing is bobbing up and down like it's in a gale. Look at that. There, we've already murdered one with extensive fire. First of many. So yeah, you can essentially build a high explosive roll spammer. I don't even know what the term for this is. There you go, extensive fire. But, oh, you murdered that with high explosive 16 inch. Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna give the main guns only AP. So that's the 16 and the 9. Oh no, a torpedo. Anyway. <clears throat> nice dud. Get this. Let's see. We're working through the identification quite nicely. How many fires do you have? Not that many yet, I think. Five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, done. Oh yeah, you got quite a few fires there, Sunshine. Lancaster's on fire, Lancaster's on fire, Lancaster's on fire, you don't say. I'm on fire as well, but it's not that bad. If you want to destroy a ship like the Kaiser Karl der Grosse, with the new mechanic of ships surrendering at 45% crew loss, and that's what the current number is, they might still change that. Just high explosive spam this thing into submission. Just high explosive spam it. Because that way the crew dies very quickly. I've already lost almost 10% of my crew. I can lose quite a bit more, but not more than 45%, or I will lose the ship. And it's a fantastic way of getting rid of enemy ships. Or, well, a big, uh, very, very dangerous ship like this. The problem might be living long enough to administer the beating. In this case, if I was the British, the Canada and her 18.3 inch guns, I would probably refit the Canada to have 18.3 inch, let's say, uh, high and high explosive shells. Just full on incendiary shells and just burn the fucker down. Just make sure that you do so much damage that most of the crew dies. And then, this 1.1 billion dollar warship is gonna go down pretty swiftly. Because right now it seems mostly unsinkable. And this is an, an okay fleet to deal with it. Torpedo in the water. Nice, 11 points of damage. It's an okay ship for Canada. Could probably make that work in a campaign, it's just... Oh. That's a fire. That's just not fair. We didn't even kill it. We just mission killed it because the entire ship was on fire. So, to conclude the video, short range barrel successful? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that torpedo just <laughs> completely changed course. <laughs> Fantastic. Um,. I, short range barrel successfully, yes. If you have the right circumstances. You need a ton of armor. You need a ship that's ideally a bit faster than what I brought. And you need to have the ability to make these guns hit something. 
which they won't always be able to. Like right now, I'm getting less than a percent. Why is that? I'm just shooting a small target at a greater range than I would like. But if you eventually do get a hit, you might be able to at least sneak up on the target. Well, sneaking might be a big word. Um, you might be able to get closer to the target and then eliminate it. Let's switch the Concord. Oh, even there, we're not getting great accuracy anymore. It's not my damage instability. Just 0.3. Target fast speed at 33 knots. Oh, that's about to change. Concord probably going to slow down a fair bit. And this is why I did give the 16-inch guns long barrels. So that if the secondaries are all unable to shoot or to hit, I still have the mains. And I can sort of maim a target into becoming an easier target for the secondaries. Like that. Just hit him with the high explosive. That might instantly evaporate the Concorde. Nope. Blocked? That's impressive. Especially with an armor belt like that. Blocked. Try it again. Yeah, that's more like it. Is that for me? You shouldn't have. Anyway, um, the rest of this battle is just essentially eliminating a couple of smaller ships. Would I put these on campaign ships? It depends. I'm really going to need to make the combination work. That's kind of the problem. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the short barrels. And I'll see you soon for more videos.